After billions of years of single-celled life, something amazing happened in the deep sea. Up to this moment, living cells that had been produced by division simply drifted away from one another. But now, with the aid of increased oxygen, some cells were sticking together. Some of these clumps ultimately evolved into animals. To find out how oxygen drove this process, I have come to Australia's Barrier Reef to look at one of the most primitive of animals alive today, one that can truly be called a living fossil. It's one of the simplest multicelled organisms that we know, but its basic body structure has nonetheless enabled it to survive virtually unchanged for around 600 million years. It's a sponge. Sponges are just collections of simple cells that have clumped together and got stuck together. They don't have a digestive system or a nervous system or a blood circulatory system, and they get their food and their oxygen by just pumping seawater through channels in the body. But they can give us an indication of how it was that cells first clumped together to form bodies of any real size. 